Mark Gearing here with the Remax Cycling Team and Adventures with Remax. I'm going to do a quick review and unboxing here of the, the Wahoo Kicker. I have had uh, two different kinetic trainers. One was a fluid, the next was a smart control um, rock and road, the one that, that went back and forth. And so now I just upgraded to this. So we're going to do a little unboxing and give you a review. All right, let's jump in and check this thing out. Typical boring uh, unboxing. Not sure why they do these, but hey, we're doing one. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. What the? All right, I'm gonna lay it on its side. Pull it out. It's not super light, but I think that's what makes it feel pretty realistic. Get the box out of the way. You got your power cord. I'm out of shape. I can't even open the box without breathing heavy. Anyways, power cord. It is, it comes, this one, the power, the kicker, um, Wahoo kicker, um, not kicker core, comes with the cassette right on it, 11 speed cassette. There's the other part of the power cord here, and your directions. Looks like maybe a sticker, a couple zip ties, a couple through axle attachments potentially. Holy cow, that sucker is heavy. Hopefully I'm not grabbing it where I'm not supposed to. Alright, you know what, I think this one is about, looks like it might come out of the box assembled, uh, assembled really. Um, these are going to be the legs that come out. Okay, it does help if you read directions. So, <laughs> I read the directions. You push down on these guys. You push down on this blue button here. And that's what's gonna open it up to that next, next section. Same thing on the other side. Push down on the blue. And that locks it over there. So now you get that nice wide stance. Oh, looks like it comes with a free pack of candy. Keep uh, keep it nice and dry. This was right here. Just kidding, kids. It's not candy. Do not eat. Throw away. Once you have the legs out, check the check the stance of it. I already adjusted it, so I'll unadjust it so you can see. I'm gonna take that wiggle out. Just tighten one or both of the sides to get that wiggle out. There we go, now it's firmly on the ground. Next, you're going to adjust it to your wheel size. So you take this uh, 
pin or bolt out and then you're going to make sure you adjust it to your wheel size. In my case, I'm putting it on my 29er. There we go, 29. All right, next it says to plug it in and then download the Wahoo app. Uh, it says it in that order, so I'm gonna assume there's a method to that. All right, we're downloading the app. 500,000 downloads. Nice job, Wahoo. All right, I just started an account on the Wahoo and now I'm, it's asking me if I wanna link my Strava and uh, uh, different outside software. So definitely gonna link my Strava. All right, only took me four tries to remember my Strava password. Now I've got to authorize the app. There we go. Check mark is now connected. Fill out your name and other personal information. All right, I think I'm connected, at least to this app. And now, okay, read these part of the instructions pretty thoroughly to see which millimeter um, axle setup you need. Um, there is 130, 135, 142, and 148. Depending on what size you have is going to determine the spacers. So, it makes a big difference. Check that out. All right, I've got the right spacers in. Um, now I'm just, uh, putting my through axle in. Didn't go in super easy so far. Just, uh, a little bit of shaking around to get that to go all the way through. After further review, when I couldn't get the through axle to get through, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Pulled it out. This guy was still in there. This was a little spacer for a skewer. The other style, um... If you have a skewer, not the through axle. So, just a quick heads up. Take this out. Through axle fits much better. It is set up on the kicker, and I now I have to turn on the Wahoo app, and I'm sure it's going to take me through a calibration process. We're going to see if this thing. Syncs up real quick uh, with the Zwift app. Um, actually, I'm using the desktop version with my Ant Plus uh, dongle. See how fast this loads with it. For whatever reason, that always takes forever. But uh, before I could even hit record, looks like we're connected. Uh, the trainer found the dongle. And we are now paired. I don't have my heart rate monitor on. And I think we're good to go. I always get this part of the whole setup screwed up. Wasn't doing anything, so then I just clicked on this power search and it did find the Wahoo, so now let's try this here. There we go. Like I said, I don't have my heart rate monitor on. Takes you to your main screen. If you have never used it before, this is the main screen. Otherwise, this should look familiar to you. You can change um, just ride training. You can add some routes. Just to see if this thing's reading, I'm going to hit ride. And I'm going to try to spin the wheels with my hand here. See if we're getting any reading. Looks like we are. So, that's it. That's how you set up a Wahoo kicker. Uh, let you go, wanted to show you real quick my setup. Um, I've got this stand here. It's a pretty nice stand. I got on uh, Amazon. I wanna say it was $129. 
It holds your TV. It's got a spot for your laptop, your phone. I've even put water bottles on it because the bike's set up right here so you can pull up nice and tight to it. Then I hook up a wire to my, um, my laptop and put the HDMI to the big screen so I can watch it on a big screen. Um, like I say, this rack is about $129 on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. Wow, I gotta show you guys something. This thing is quiet. Um, you're gonna be able to hear my chain more than you hear anything because I got a little grit in it with after I, I got a little grit on a looped chain, but you gotta hear this thing. <clears throat> I've had uh, kinetic, um, fluid, and the smart trainer. This thing is quiet. I don't even know if you can hear that, but the only thing you probably can hear is my chain. Super quiet. That is crazy. Hey, putting the box away, putting the trash away. Wahoo sends you a cadence sensor as well. So go ahead and install that. I'm not gonna cut these yet. Comes in a nice little weatherproof, weatherproof little rubber grommet there. Comes with this nice little holding station and it actually comes with some 3M, uh, 3M tape as well. I'm assuming I'm gonna put this like by my workshop spot somewhere in this little uh, holder. I can put it off and put it in there when I'm not using it, maybe in the summer or something on my mountain bike. But uh, they do send you a cadence sensor that obviously will pair once you get everything rocking and rolling as well.